to come on. And alongside me in the commentary box for MUTV today, former United goalkeeper Siobhan Chamberlain. How excited are you, Siobhan, to see Sophie Bagley and what she can do in United colours? Yeah, really looking forward to seeing her out there. It's a great opportunity for her to, to come in and show what she can do. She's experienced um, in the in the FAWSL, had a lot of seasons at Bristol now, been, been done really well for them. And as you said before, there's been a, a mass exodus at Bristol and this is a great opportunity for her to compete with Mary Earps for that starting position. Just waiting for both teams to sort themselves out here at Carrington before we can get this second 45 minutes underway. But you also saw just there Martha Thomas, the Scotland international, who joined Manchester United from West Ham. So a chance for some of the newer faces to get a run out in this second half. Mark Skinny, do you have to think Siobhan will be thinking more of the same, please, from what he did see going forward in that first half? He would have been mightily impressed. Yeah, more of the positives, less of the negatives. Easy to say, harder to harder to execute slightly. But yeah, we can see here um, Sophie Bagley warming up. Sort of Eva Mannion slightly out of picture there. I'm sure she'll be coming on into the back line, and it'll be really really good to see her playing alongside Millie Turner if they can if they can form a partnership there. I, I'm sure they'll be two of his key centre backs moving forward. You can see there on the left of screen wearing five Eva Mannion. As Siobhan rightly points out, she will be introduced, we think, in this second half. Also expecting to see Jess Simpson and Hayley Ladd brought on too. So there will be a number of changes. Still awaiting the situation when it comes to Liverpool and any alterations that they might want to make. Potentially Liverpool have made so many changes, the referee's still in there trying to work out how to change them all on the team sheet. Can't seem to see them so far. Well, I'm sure they'll be out shortly. The rain has subsided for now. Conditions weren't exactly ideal for pre-season this morning, but things have freshened up ever so slightly here at Carrington. That's one of the things at Carrington. You always know it's going to be windy when you play on open pitches at training grounds. No matter what time of the year it is, where you are, when it is, it's always going to be windy when you're on those those really open pitches and that's something that kind of needs to be taken into account when, when you're playing. Are those long aerial balls or those switches of play going to work as much as they would do in a stadium? Or is it more, can we keep the ball on the ground? Can we pop it around? Can we move the opposition and find those gaps in between? Like Vilda Barisa and Lucy Staniforth did so well, probably towards the latter half of the first half. Well, here come the visitors. And before that, the match officials just wandering back onto the surface here at Carrington. Great again to hear from Mark Skinner at half-time. We were saying before that he enjoyed some respectable finishes with Birmingham on a tight budget when he was last in the WSL, but for the last two years, Skinner has spent his time over in the United States where he replaced the experienced Tom Samani as head coach of Orlando Pride. Bit of a mixed bag for the new United boss in the States. He finished bottom with the Pride in his first season there but later on did guide them to their longest ever unbeaten streak. Talk about coming up against adversity as well. He didn't see his partner or their child for nine months due to the effects of the coronavirus pandemic on world travel and getting back from Florida. But he also said that Manchester United was really the only club he would have returned to English football for, so no doubt he has that hunger within him. And as Siobhan rightly pointed out in the first half, very vocal on the touchline as well. We could hear him loud and clear barking those instructions to his players. Yeah, very vocal. He's very passionate and he wants to get his point across. He wants to. He's only had a couple of training sessions, so it, it's hard for him today. He won't have been able to get all of his coaching points across. He won't have been able to give all of his information, even, even the minutest part of information so far. So it's a great opportunity today for him to see, see the players live in action, but also be able to give them information, give them, give them positive feedback when they need it, but also tell them when they've done something wrong. I think that's, that's sometimes at players what, what you don't always get. You don't always get the, the honesty and that's what you're going to get from Mark. He's an honest manager. He's going to go out there and do the best for these players and the best for Manchester United. Well, in terms of the United changes, we'll also see a slight shift in personnel in terms of the way the system is set up. We're expecting Phil de Berisa to be pushed slightly further forward and 
You think Hayley Ladd might drop into those two defensive midfield positions, United playing 4-2-3-1. Martha Thomas expected to play through the centre. And Maria torres Dotti will, we think, shift to right back with Aoife Mannion playing in the centre of defence. For Liverpool, it doesn't appear to be like they've made any substitutions. But you just never know in pre-season, there's always that chance that a substitution might sneak up on you. But it looks like as they were from the first half. It's very kind and thoughtful of them because it makes it much easier as a commentator when, it, when it's left exactly was it, how it was when, it, when you left at, at half-time. I'm sure they will make some substitutions. Second half begins here at Carrington. Manchester United lead by two goals to one in their first pre-season friendly ahead of the new WSL season. Liverpool over a week ahead in their preparations. It's their second game. As we just see confirmation of those Manchester United substitutions. So Thomas on, Ladd on, Simpson on, Mannion on. And Sophie Bagley on in goal as well. Here's Robe. Matthews. Goes back to her goalkeeper. Launched forward. And in behind here is Missy Bo Kearns. And straight away into the action. Using her strength really well, Aoife Mannion. First few touches in United colours and their accomplished ones. Yeah, really well defended there by Aoife Mannion. To come in on your debut, coming on at half-time, you haven't had a touch of the ball, but to just dominate your, your, your 1v1 there, take control of the situation and, and make sure the ball's cleared into, out of any danger. Aoife Mannion signed a two-year deal from Manchester City. Cites Roy Keane as one of her idols growing up, which will always stand you in good stead when you sign for Manchester United. Here's Torres Dottit, swept forward by Zellum. Thomas will give chase. Out comes Riley Foster. Yeah, it'd be really good to see how, how Aoife Mannion gets on in these, these early few games of the, of the season. She's had a long time out injured. She was very unfortunate at Manchester City with, with her injury and then didn't manage to get back into, into the side. And um, for whatever reason, she's obviously a very talented player. And the fans, I'm sure I've seen on, on social media already, the fans are very, very keen to have her as part of Manchester United. Yeah, she made over 100 appearances for City in seven years there. But also an attraction, I'm sure, would be the chance to work with Mark Skinner again. They have worked together in the past, Mannion and Skinner. Here's Kiernan for Liverpool. Lofted in. Sophie Bagley with her first chance to scoop the ball up. Yeah, it's always nice as a goalkeeper to get a good early touch. If you can come out and, and be comfortable, settles a few nerves. You mentioned there Mannion having played under Mark Skinner. I think both goalkeepers, I could be wrong with my timings, but I think um, Sophie Bagley and Mary Earps have both played under Mark Skinner previously as well. So it, it would be good for Mark to have some familiar faces when he comes in. Definitely a help, you think, when there is that familiarity. Kirsty Hansen just gambling there on Taylor Hines. And Hines does well to get back and put the challenge in. United corner. I don't think you can ever gamble on anything when you know you've got Kirsty Hansen charging down on you. She's got incredible work rate, of, of uh, as we've said before, and there does really well. Hines recovers really well to, to get that challenge in, but win yet another corner for, for Manchester United. We saw plenty of United corners in the first half. How will they get on here in the second
Well, Hansen isn't messing around. And here comes the delivery. Towards the far post, it is met by two United players. One of them was Aoife Mannion and hacked away by Liverpool. Forward it comes from Bagley. Into the channel, Hansen can chase and so can Thomas. And it's hooked clear for a throw. Good starting position there from Sophie Bagley. Confident, high on the edge of her box and clearing up everything. But into good areas where you know you've got Kirsty Hansen and Martha Thomas there challenging Liverpool's back line. Here's Millie Turner. Forward from Martha Harris. Zellum. Well, slight confusion in the Liverpool defence there. Thought Liam Robe might have just tried to clear that first time. Instead, she was content to wait. United repelled as far as the centre circle. Into the channel from Torres Dottit. Compatriot Barisa gives chase. It's good to see Barisa a little bit higher up the pitch this time. But this half, you, you saw what she could do with that, that beautiful flick on the outside of her, her boot through to Leah Galton in the first half. And seeing her slightly higher up, if she can play a few more of those sliding balls through to those attacking players, it'll be really exciting for Manchester United. Part of the Norway side beaten by England in the 2019 World Cup quarter final. Phil de Barisa, 26 years of age now. Has impressed on her first showing for Manchester United today. Torres Dotti. Lad. And Turner. Nice flick round the corner from Thomas. Dealt with by Liverpool. Again, it's really quite compact in that central area. Need to try and get a little bit more width to, to, to exploit those areas and to, to, to get those holes that you can play in between. At the moment, everyone's really compact, wanting to get on the ball and wanting to show what they can do themselves. Well, as we've mentioned a number of times already today, the United players have only had a couple of sessions with the new manager, so you feel it will take a little bit of time to get things right when it comes to philosophy and nailing down a style of play. I think all too often we expect things to click into place right away when a new coach comes in, but it very rarely works like that in football. No, it, it definitely always takes time, but when you're play, playing Liverpool in your very first game two days in, if you can get a victory against, against a team like Liverpool, then you're definitely going to get a few fans on side, aren't you? But a result here will certainly be promising with Jackie Kunnan and Ella Toon still yet to come into this Manchester United side. They'll rejoin the group at a later stage. They've been in Japan for the Olympics. Toon representing Team GB, who are beaten by Australia in a thrilling knockout game, whilst Jackie, of course, involved with the Netherlands, who were beaten by the United States. That match a repeat of the 2019 World Cup final. Yeah, tough losses for both of those teams. Losing on penalties and losing ex in extra time is not what you want to do. And tournament football can, can be really challenging and really tough like that. Certainly Ella Toon was talking about what it was like to be an Olympian. Lovely interview on the Manchester United official website. You can also find it on the Manchester United app. One of her good childhood friends was also an Olympian in Tokyo, won a silver medal. Her friend Kelly Hodgson, Hodgkinson won the silver in the 800 metres for Team GB. Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement by her to, to get that silver medal in, in, in that race. It was a fantastic race. race. I, w I remember watching it and having seen Ella Toon post on social media a, a, about being friends and a picture when they when they were kids over at Lee Sports Village and yes a fantastic achievement and anyone winning a medal at an Olympics is, is incredible. 
So a Liverpool free kick. Bread and butter for Sophie Bagley. She'll claim those all day long. Nice little confidence booster for her. Just speaking of Ella Toon, nine WSL goals. Last season, United's top scorer. If United can find goals without her in the side, positive thoughts for when she does come back in and rejoin the group. I'm sure Martha Thomas will be wanting to, to get off the mark as soon as possible as well. Mm. As a centre forward, the sooner you can, you can start scoring goals, the better, especially for your confidence. Well, that was an excellent marauding run from Maria torres Dotti, who played centre-back in the first half, playing right back in this second period. Couldn't quite get the pass away that she was looking for, but great intent with the run, nonetheless. Here's Matthews for Liverpool. Well collected by Hansen. Turner. Mannion. United happy just to slow it down a little. Hayley Ladd. Torres dot it. Puts it into a dangerous area. Taken well by Thomas. And doing the defending for Liverpool was Leanne Robe. A lovely ball in there from, from Torres dot here. Martha Thomas got ahead of her defenders to start with to get that touch, but great defending from, from Robe there. Managed to managed to get across and take the ball off and out for a for another corner. <laughs> I wasn't sure from that angle whether it had been a corner or, or, or a throw on, but United are racking up the corner, so it was always going to be a corner, wasn't it? Swung in, headed away by Liverpool. Lofted forward by Missy Bo Kearns and latched onto by Leanne Kiernan. But out sweeping Sophie Bagley, who has been involved in the 11 and a half minutes she's had on the field so far. Yeah, again, good start position from Sophie Bagley. You want your goalkeeper that high up the pitch when it's a set piece and when you could be counted on. And she was in the right place at the right time and made a good decision to come through and, and clear the ball up the other end of the pitch. Well, the rain and the wind has picked up again here at Carrington. Exactly what you expect on a beautiful August day. Miserable. You can see the rain really driving down. I mean, you want to be on the pitch as much as possible because you always want to play but I'm sure those players that played that first half and have managed to get inside get a shower and have probably stood under cover will be very very grateful right now it's Liverpool who have it Bo Cairns making a nuisance of herself here's Kiernan who did score Liverpool's only goal of this game falls as far as Hines who tried something inventive but it didn't come to fruition. Yeah, a real waste, wasted opportunity there for Liverpool where she received it on the edge of that box. Had her touch been, been slightly better and brought that down. She's in, in so much space on her own but ends up volleying it quite a considerable distance over that crossbar. One of the hardest techniques in football when the ball's dropping like that and trying to hit the dipping volley need to hit it absolutely perfectly to even really trouble the goalkeeper is a defender Taylor Hines spent two years at Everton actually before switching allegiances to Liverpool and she loses out there to the effective Kirsty Hansen who gets the return in comes the cross Torres Dottie might be able to recycle this it's low across the area. Fell for Simpson. Liverpool did enough defending. Harris in there and thundered away now by Liverpool. I thought Simpson would have taken that opportunity to get a shot away on goal. 
unselfish play type, tried to tried to combine and tap it across for somebody else. But in those opportunities, you'd really like to see her pull the trigger. Just 16 years old, Jess Simpson, one of a number of under-21 players involved for Manchester United today in this pre-season friendly. Conventionally plays out on the left wing, but I think is quite versatile and popped up in a more central position there, occupying the penalty area. United beginning to control this second half. Popped forward by Vilda Boerisa into the channel from Zellum. Hines gets a foot in. Yet again, it's a corner. Yeah, lovely combination play there from Manchester United. In this, these kind of conditions, that's what you need to do. Keep the ball on the floor, pop it one and two touch, move the ball around, use the zippy grass. The, the surface here is perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. Use the grass, use the zip that you get from the extra bit of rain and move Liverpool around like they have done here. Yeah, credit to the ground staff here at Carrington. With all this rain, the pitches are immaculate still. Corner comes in from Hansen, this time deep towards the back of the penalty area. And that skiddy surface we mentioned means the ball zips through for a Liverpool throw. Yeah, there's been a, a couple of overplayed corners and we'll put that down to rustiness because there have been a lot of good ones as well. You've heard of a triple sub, a quadruple sub. I think this is a quintuple sub we're about to see for Manchester United. Five substitutions. Some of those younger, under-21 players will be given opportunities. Tara Bourne has already made her way on. In your picture there is Annie Hutchings. Rebecca May, a more familiar name for some of the Manchester United supporters. Made her debut February 2020, Rebecca May. And that's Neve Murphy wearing 40, who's just 18. Normally plays at left back. She's been in the academy about a year now. OK, so this is definitely my biggest challenge as commentator yet. I don't think I've ever had <laughs> close to 10 changes um, take place mid-game. So this is, this is where you earn your money, right? This is pre-season, I'm afraid, Siobhan. This is how it works. We'll get through it, of course. And Manchester United will be hoping that some of these young stars can show exactly what they're all about. Still only a goal in this, though. And as we've seen so many times, things can change very, very quickly. But despite the fact this is a game of high intensity between two rival clubs. Still, you have to consider it is pre-season and an opportunity for the manager to cast an eye over perhaps the future of this football club. Yeah, definitely. And the, the amount of games that you have in a season, you add in the Continental Cup as well, you have international duty, that there's so much going on in a season. You're always going to have to need a good depth of squad. And you pick up a few injuries that, that unfortunately, are long-term. Then those players might be needed on the pitch. They're not just part of the squad. They're not just sat on the bench. They're needed week in, week out. And it's which player can step up in moments like these. Yes, it's just a friendly, but it's a big game against Liverpool. And Manchester United, Liverpool, as we've already said, is always going to be a big game. So who can step up? Who can show what they can do on, on this platform? when you've made that many changes as well it, it, it's all about can you get control of the game can you get possession can you get comfortable work each, work each other out again understand where everybody is and, and United have done that well so far they, they've kept control of the ball maintaining possession and just, just easing their way into this game yeah they have looked comfortable in possession in this second half it's a bit back and forth in the first period here's Martha Thomas for Manchester United. Collected by Simpson and now Ladd. 
Low across the face, collected by Ladd once more in the penalty area. Got a bit of chance, a bit of time to pull the trigger and finds the side netting. Oh, she was given a, a fair bit of space there inside the box. Hayley Ladd by Liverpool. She was, and Hayley Ladd's an incredibly technical player, one, that, one that's very reliable, and she's been fantastic for, for Manchester United in the two years that she's been here, but she's probably not the player that you'd, you'd normally see in the 18-yard box unleashing shots. I think I remember one, I'm not sure if it's last year or, or the year before now, from distance, rifled into that top corner. But it's nice to see her att attacking a little bit higher up the pitch. Simpson putting the pressure on. Liverpool go all the way back to Riley Foster. Well, Manchester United have lost a few forward players this summer. Jess Sigsworth going to Leicester. Lauren James making the switch to Chelsea. So certainly room for a new forward or two at the club this summer. But no reason why some of the younger talent can't try and grasp an opportunity with the season just four weeks away. You look at the likes of Alessia Russo and Ivana Fuso as well that both aren't included in the squad today. They're both fantastic attacking talents. I, I was really impressed with, with Russo last season. Unfortunately, it was her season was cut short with injury, but the games that she did play, she looked really exciting. And hopefully she'll be back fresh and, and putting in good performances for Manchester United again in the season to come. Forward it comes from one end to the other. Liverpool now have made a few substitutions as well. The joys of pre-season where you see so many different options and chances handed to different players. Some good experience and youth on the pitch at the moment here at Carrington. We mentioned before the game that perhaps Liverpool's bench for this pre-season affair looked the stronger in terms of options and experience. The game quite well poised at the moment. Composed stuff from Sophie Bagley. Hayley Ladd. Mannion. Back to Bagley. Yeah, you look at Liverpool's bench and I think they brought on Furness. Daniels, Fahi, all of which are really experienced senior internationals for, for their respective countries and they'll add that little bit of experience to, to this Liverpool side um, and I'm sure we'll be wanting to make an impact. Well, no fans permitted into Carrington today to watch this one due to ongoing COVID-19 protocols. But when games do return to Lee Sports Village, I'm sure we will see a great turnout to support United throughout the new season. Mark Skinner says he's certainly looking forward to it. One of the key factors in joining this football club was the support of those United fans. Martha Thomas in a bit of a wrestle. Yeah, good play there by Murphy down that right wing. Found Thomas's feet, had two players up against her, so it's a little bit more difficult. I think she wanted a free kick, but physical defending from Liverpool. But good play from the youngster on the right wing there, first. Badger. Neve Murphy. Back into Badger and then blocked behind. Jasmine Matthews with the clearance. Good combination play again and it's nice to see Ona Badger so far forward and on the other side of the pitch to be getting involved in that play, to be combining one and two touch play and then finding herself in the 18-yard box, even in the six-yard box, to, to get through and get a shot away at goal, which was well defended by Liverpool.
Set piece delivery. Cleared by Liverpool. How important is it, Siobhan, that some of the more experienced United players on the pitch, the likes of Hayley Ladd right now, kind of guide these young players through it? Because it will be an experience for them, even though it's pre-season. Yeah, really important. They, they want to have a bit, bit of... Um a bit of an arm around them to make sure that they feel comfortable, feel confident. But at the same time, they're out there because they're good enough. They're out there in their own right, and they've got to have the confidence in their own ability to know that they can go out there putting the performance. But having that guidance and the leadership from those experienced players is always going to be a benefit. Bit of a sore one for Rihanna Dean. Not the first time she's clutched that right ankle in this game. Maybe just an accidental tread on the Achilles from Aoife Mannion. Yeah, nothing malicious there, but it's always going to be a painful one when you, when you catch your, your Achilles or your ankle bone with, with a couple of studs. As we know, pre-season isn't always conventional, so Carrie Jones, who went off earlier on, has now come back onto the field to replace Maria torres Dottit. Not usually something you see a player coming off to come back on again. Normally it's the other way around, but of course exceptions made during this preparation period, so a reintroduction for Jones. I think Murphy's slightly more of a, a defensive player, so she sits back in there to, to a more natural position, although, as I said before, she did really well in her attacking positions. Here's Campbell for Liverpool. And poked behind for a corner. Yeah, and you're spot on, Siobhan. Neve Murphy, more of a full-back. So we'll play in that role. talked about the leadership and guidance of experienced players set pieces is where it's key that's where you need them to step up and, and show their experience here it's a Liverpool corner the flying header and eventually clear for Manchester United perhaps the momentum of this game just starting to shift at least until Taylor Hines passes the ball straight out of play Almost an ever-present last season for Liverpool, Taylor Hines. Spent eight years at Arsenal. Mel Campbell here, who's got the ball in her hands, has the longest throw I've ever seen. It's a tremendous long throw, so I'm sure at one point we, we may see that launched into the box. Um, but that will cause all, si all sorts of problems for the, for the United back line. This time the throw down the line for Rachel Furness. I have a feeling the long throw is about to be unleashed. Siobhan Chamberlain looking into the crystal ball. Um, getting it spot on by the seams of things. Here it comes. And it does cause problems. And quite happily for Sophie Bagley, it just gently rolls into her arms. <laughs> 